Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to talk about a topic that I think is more around in our thoughts than people let on. When I come across doing many readings with thousands of you, really through the course of my career, um, the one thing I have noticed is a lot of people fear death. And you know, I just wanna say that when I see people that fear it, it's, it's a number of reasons. You know, one is they really don't know what's on the other side. Um, two, they may feel they didn't live uh, uh, the kind of life that they should have in, in a better, kinder way. Uh, maybe they don't, they fear where they're gonna go. Where is their soul gonna go? So, you know, understanding how beautiful the divine light is is crucial to people going through it and not missing out on that light because i always say you get that light from the time of your cremation memorial or your funeral you have 72 hours and that light that comes to you starts dimming so you don't want to lose that window of beautiful divine light that takes you to the afterlife many times people that are earthbound it could be that when they have gone through something and they have passed so quickly, like an explosion or a car accident, they don't even know that they passed until they're looking down at their body and saying, wait, what just happened? So they felt no pain, no nothing, and it was probably a fraction of two seconds, okay? Um, and they're just not ready to go. Um, a second reason is family is taking it so hard that the deceased feels a remorse to leave. And then third, a lot of times, um, it's, it's just the fear of, hey, you know what? I don't know where I'm going. I'm not feeling really comfortable, so guess what? I'm staying right here. And you don't ever wanna do that because if you're here, there's no place for an earthbound spirit. You are the same, but now you have no body, okay? There's nothing special about you because you are the same creature that you were here and how you lived on earth. The only difference is you don't have a body any longer. So it's imperative that when you see that light, go into it. When you go into it, now you are going straight to God and you're going to the afterlife and it is quite beautiful. And there is no punishment. You know, so many people, they're so afraid they're gonna be punished because maybe they weren't nice, they weren't kind. That's okay because you know what? That is going to be something between you and God, your book of life, your experience of what you have done in this lifetime will be spoken with God. And God's not here to punish. God is here to teach. And God will give us as many chances as need be for us to get it right. If it means to reincarnate, we're going to have to do that. And, and you know what? I don't look at it as reincarnation as such a bad thing. Many times people will say, Susan, I'm done. I'm exhausted. This is going to be my last lifetime. Well, <laughs> it's not as easy as you kind of hope because sometimes there are still more experiences that we need to experience. We also need to experience and to strive to be the soul that we are trying to get to. In other words, we keep getting as many experiences as we can to be as godlike as possible because that's the moral of the story for every lifetime, to teach, to learn, but to walk away with love, kindness, not a mean, vindictive person, not a selfish person, but a person who really is going to get it based on the experiences that were presented to you. So it isn't what's being done to us, it's always what we take away from. What is the meaning? How can we be better for it? This is so important, I say this all the time. It is extremely important. Look, we're human, we're gonna cry, we're gonna get angry, we're gonna be disgusted. Absolutely we will, but you don't stay in the stuckness. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The water is either, when they say half full, half empty, I like to think of my water as abundance of water overflowing. That's the way I choose to look at my life, no matter what. You know, strive to be the best person you can be, that you can be happy with and live with. So when I see people that are afraid of dying, 
or if you have a loved one that's in the hospital or in hospice at home or whatever, tell them it's okay. Tell them what you loved about them. Tell them it's okay to let go. Tell them to be with so-and-so that's up there. Tell them you're closer to seeing God and to feeling that ecstasy of peace and love. Tell them that. Warm them up because even people in comas or people that are dying and you feel they're unconscious, they can't hear. The yes, they can. The soul hears everything. Help them go through that light. Whenever somebody has been very close to passing, I have said to them, you are loved and they are waiting for you with open arms. Go through that light. And sure enough, they do because then they'll come back and they'll say, Susan, and I see them so beautiful, maybe younger, healthier, just everything. And, they're, and they tell me, they tell me this all the time. Even when I do readings for so many people, it's unbelievable what comes through and I'm happy for them. So for those of you that fear death, don't. When it, and it's all going to be our time. We all have a spin at the wheel, as they say. But I can assure you, you want to stay here for as long as you can, doing the purpose that you can. But when your time is up, accept it. Truly accept it. Be open to it. I've accepted everything that comes my way. When it's my time, it's my time. I don't look at it as, oh my God, oh my God, what am I going to do? No. Because the bottom line is we are not in charge when it comes to that. God is. So try to be more mindful. Try to embrace yourself in the moments while you're here and how you can make a difference. How can you make a difference with you? That's where it starts with. Try doing this with you because when you are your best self, just think of all the teachings and an inspiration you could be to so many other people. Okay, so I just wanted to bring this up. It's a little tidbit that I am starting to notice more and more and don't. Okay, live your best life in the best that you can do. That's all you have to do. You know what's right and wrong, so live it. Okay, until next time, uh, many more things. Please subscribe to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, a lot more stories, a lot more conversations that I'm going to be having. All right, you have uh, the best week you can. My love to you always. Bye-bye.